Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be looking at celebrities thirsting over Ryan Reynolds. We'll also be sharing some interesting facts about his career. Let's get this started. He was he was my childhood crush, actually. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Um, his name is like still on my bedroom walls, mm -hmm. so that's kind of weird. Really? I told him about that. It was a whole thing. <laughs> Ryan had a fear of flying since he went skydiving as a teenager and his parachute didn't open. Although his character in the Green Lantern had to do some crazy flying stunts, Ryan didn't want to let down his nieces and nephews. They were excited for the movie, so he overcame his fear and finished the film. The Green Lantern also allowed Ryan to find his future wife Blake Lively. She played his love interest and then became his real-life lover. How romantic! for about a year after uh, Green Lantern had come and gone and all that stuff, and uh, we were both single. We went on a double date with, she was on a date with another guy and I was on a date with another girl, and, and that was the most awkward date for their respective part because we were just like fireworks <laughs> coming across the... <laughs> Ryan smuggled apple pie across the Canada-United States border for Blake. Since food needs to be cleared before crossing the border, the guard made Ryan sing I Swear like he did in the movie Just Friends before letting him through. I was, I, I, my wife is a foodie and she, we, she loves these uh, apple pies that they make at this, at this place in Vancouver where I grew up. So we grabbed a bunch of them and headed, we were driving back down to the States. And I, my voice always gets really high when I'm, when I'm like lying. He was like, you got anything, any, any sort of fruit, any vegetables, anything like that? I was like, no! <laughs> Ryan used to ride for 45 minutes on the wrong school bus on his way home just so he could sit next to the girl he liked. She used to, and she used to actually, she used to take the bus the, the, the opposite way of my actual home. And I would get on the bus just to sit next to her wow. for 45 minutes the wrong way. I love it when, it when you're young, it's so cute. When you're older, it's just stalking. <laughs> he also tried to impress her by copying Don Johnson's smolder and attitude from Miami Vice get off the bus because enough is enough. I'm about to enter like Seattle or something. So <laughs> I'm starting to get off the bus and I decided to like kind of hit her with like this cool look or something like this, like one of these like real yeah. sort of Don Johnson, Miami Vice kind of things. Let me feel it, let me feel it, let me feel it. Little Ryan loved taking out all the marshmallows from his Lucky Charms. So the next box of cereal would have double the marshmallows. How clever. It might surprise you to know that Ryan actually failed his drama class in high school. His friend and fellow actor Hugh Jackman made fun of that fact when Ryan got his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2016. Uh, he taught drama and I, I and he failed me uh, because I because I never showed up. But he also had a good good sort of uh, come to Jesus heart to heart talk with me that that straightened me out. So I like him for that. Yeah. Ryan and some of his friends carried his teacher's Volkswagen Beetle down the block as an April Fool's Day prank. Because Ryan is definitely worth it seeing him naked. Oh God. I'm funny naked. He looks good naked. She's just like what Ryan didn't know is that moving someone's car more than 10 feet is a felony in Canada, so he got kicked out of his high school. His older brothers had also been kicked out of the same school. Ryan once pierced his ears as a kid, and his brothers warned him that it would make their dad angry. Ryan didn't listen, but his brothers also pierced their ears so Ryan wouldn't be the odd one out. Well, it's one of those I, I things, Ryan it's Reynolds. like there's an inside voice and something that you don't ever tell anybody, but when you're promoting a movie, you finally tell people, and that's, I'm a massive fan of the proposal. Is that right? Ryan loves his hometown Vancouver so much that he has a tattoo of the 9 o'clock gun, a 12-pound cannon that goes off every night. It was initially a time signal for ships, but remained a Vancouverite tradition. I mean, the guy's tall, he's... Why am I talking about Ryan Reynolds so much? You have a man crush now? on Ryan Reynolds? I do, man. I don't... I, I feel weird admitting it in front of you because you're laughing at me right now, but I feel... <laughs> no, I'm laughing. I feel confidence in my... Listen, I just need to do this. <laughs> yeah, just do that. Ryan was named People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive in 2010 and then Sexiest Dad Alive in 2016. But have you been a what? sexiest man alive yet? Or you... Um, uh, you know, I, 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 quite a while ago I was, and you I were... clearly graduated to the the, the next worst thing. Yes. <laughs> sexiest dad. Yeah, I don't think there's a scientific method for choosing that. I don't think they polled everyone on Earth. I think it's three guys in a boardroom. Uh, It'll work. No. One of Ryan's old friends, who was there when his first daughter was born, tried to sell pictures of Ryan's newborn to a tabloid magazine. When Ryan found out, he ended their friendship and swore he would never speak to him or see him again. He's an incredibly wonderful and funny, amazing actor, Canadian. Um, Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. <laughs> 
Did you know Alanis Morissette wrote a song about Ryan? The two were engaged at one point, and she wrote the song Torch after they broke up. I'm not above taking my clothes off for money. That's the bottom line. I, that's what we've learned. That yeah. um, look. How much? Because I have some cash on this. Ryan was mentioned by name in the 2004 comic Cable and Deadpool No. 2, seven years before Ryan got to play the character. Deadpool referred to himself as looking like Ryan Reynolds crossed with a sharp hay. Ryan knew that he wanted to play the role if there was ever a movie adaptation. It's something I've always related to, and I think it's why I connected with the character 11 years ago. Is that you know I've always, as a kid, I was the youngest of four boys. You know, so like I wasn't gonna, I was wasn't even considered a younger brother. I was just considered a moving target. <laughs> and like you know, you have to. The way I stayed alive was <laughs> with my mouth. You know, I guess I'm not gonna win with my fists. So, you know, it, it, I felt like I was sort of rehearsing for Deadpool from the get go. Um, Ryan co-owns a wireless phone company called Mint Mobile. He is also on the board of directors for the company behind online dating services like Tinder and OkCupid. Ryan gained 25 pounds of muscle for his role in Blade Trinity. He had a strict 3,200 calorie diet and worked out six times a week for three months. I don't know. I mean, he did a lot of like romantic comedies, mm -hmm. right? I fell in love with, oh, The Proposal. That was like yes. the main one. Oh my God, yeah, yes, yes. One. And did you imagine him doing that for you? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Ryan, I'm sorry again. Ryan's gonna be calling you up. It's like, girl, I didn't know it was like that. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, Blake, it's chill. Ryan almost starred in the show Buffy the Vampire Slayer. He would have played nerdy teen Xander Harris. Can you imagine that? The only reason he turned down the role is because he didn't want to play a high schooler. Ryan had just finished high school and he'd hated it. For me, high school was a situation where I, if I, the more invisible I was, the more kind of happy I was. So I just wanted to get through that shit show and go live my life. It was, you know, high school can be a pretty violent, sort of <laughs> crazy place. So. Ryan initially gave up acting at age 19 after a few unsuccessful TV roles and enrolled at Kwantlen Polytechnic University. He ran into actor Chris William Martin a few months later, who convinced him to move to Los Angeles with him and try again. The rest is history. Second best, and uh, love scene that Ryan Reynolds has ever done. Well, thank you. Yeah. Doing that to my ear, and I'm thinking, how is that erotic in any way? <laughs> Anything he does is erotic, right? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean, and that wraps up our video. What are your thoughts on Ryan Reynolds? Let us know, and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more binge-worthy videos like this. I'm like a swearing, but we still want to be mouthy. You say like, you know, you muffin smuggling dragon fart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Something like that, right? <laughs>